So the truth is, it is very difficult to get a job in the UK if you do not have UK work experience or if you do not have an undergraduate qualification that was taught in the UK. It will be very difficult to get a job in the UK if you were trained outside. Okay, it's very difficult. Trust me, I know this. Hey, hey. If let's say you're coming to the UK as a dependent, right? Let's say your partner has gotten admission to a UK university or let's say your partner has gotten a job offer, maybe a skilled worker visa and then you're wondering if you should leave your well-paying job back home to come here not knowing the jobs that are available not knowing exactly what you'll be doing and how much you'll be earning like if this is all confusing to you today i'm going to let you know job options for dependents okay i'll let you know the seven very easy to get jobs in the uk that you can start with when you come and then maybe later you can upgrade to do one that you desire okay i'll let you know how much you are expected to earn i'll also let you know what exactly you'll be doing at those jobs okay so that's what this video is about if you're interested stay tuned Hi, my name is Anel Grisolda. I'm a Ghanaian trained nurse currently practicing in the UK. On this channel, I talk about migrating to the UK, opportunities for people to relocate to the UK. And I talk about life in the UK as an immigrant in general, okay? If you don't know already. Okay. So, many of these easy to get jobs, um, the pay or the salary is between, let's say, £10 to like £13 an hour, averagely. Okay, so majority, almost all the jobs I'll be mentioning, that's the salary range, okay? But this highly depends on where you are. But the same job, you can be earning let's say 10 pound in northern ireland but for the same job you can be earning let's say 13 pound in london because london is considered a high cost area okay but averagely you're earning between 10 pounds let's say 13 pounds for the jobs that i'll be sharing in this video let me also say that it's always good to plan ahead before you come okay so if you're a dependent let's say your partner's visa process is underway you already know where you'll be living because you know where your partner is going to work right or you, be, you already know where your partner is going to go to school so you already know the area i would advise that you start looking for jobs as early as possible okay so these are the popular job sites that you can find jobs you can actually start searching from your home country so you can search for jobs from total jobs indeed carehome.co.uk cv library and many others i'll leave all of them on the screen so you can see all the various um popular places that you can find jobs okay what i will advise is that what you do is you sign up you create an account okay let's say total jobs or cv library you go to the website and then you create an account you filter the jobs based on your area the location where you are okay so you can filter the search and then let's say choose jobs in london okay so you filter and then only jobs that are available in london will show you can also filter based on the type of job okay so if any of the jobs that i've been mentioning today suits you you can filter your searches based on that particular job and then sign up for alerts that's extremely important you can sign up for alerts so that when there is any job they can see with the jobs that you search for and the location that you searched for they will alert you so that you can apply so that before you come let's say do something so you don't have to come here and then wait for 10 months before you start a job you know start start searching from back home okay because you already know you're nearly here okay another thing i'll say is that you're likely to need a um, reference from back home obviously from back home you're either going to school or you're working so if possible you can even get a reference and then it'll be a address to to whom it may concern or you can either let your people be aware that you are likely to need a reference from them and uh, because you are traveling so let them be aware of it okay so that it doesn't take too long or you know when you're trying to get this from them so yeah so now that we know these job sites and then we know some of the things that you can do to hasten out the process for you to get a job now let's go to the popular seven jobs that you're likely to get so the first one that's extremely extremely popular is a warehouse operative okay so some people also call this a picker or a sorter you know so you'll be working like the name says in warehouses so let's say you'll be working in an amazon warehouse okay so let's say it's a large area with several types of goods okay so you'll be placing these materials on the various racks or on the various shelves that they need to be on obviously you're going to be trained every job that you get you're going to be trained so I mean, you not having that experience prior is of no issue all the jobs i'll be mentioning they all do not require prior experience or anything like that although if you do have the experience as a plus but all the jobs I've been mentioning, they are going to train you on the job. And um, also, when people place an order, you'll be checking the laptop or the computer or wherever for the order, and then you know making it ready for delivery. So 
you know all these things those are what the you do as a warehouse operative so you are let's say sorting them let's say all the electric house in a, a particular shelving area it's not like you'll be carrying them at your back obviously they have machinery to assist you to do that or they have trolleys to assist you to do that you can also be offloading stuff from vehicles you know when they come to the warehouse you can either be offloading or loading the vehicles with the stuff but like i said that machinery to help you do that these ones are very very common because you know that there's so many online stores or so many stores in the uk and they all have warehouses so it's very easy to get warehouse operative oh, job the second job i'll be mentioning obviously is a care assistant job or a support worker or a domiciliary care worker or a living carer care jobs are always in demand and will forever be in demand don't be confused if you come as a dependent to work as a carer you don't need ielts okay you don't need to do the care certificate courses it is only when you are requesting for sponsorship for that job that you need all those things because they are being pulled from your home country so there are a lot of things that you need to prove however if you're already in the uk okay you're already in the uk you have a um, residence permit in the uk and you're looking for a care assistant job it's easy okay you obviously get a good cv i have a cv video on here and you'll be trained on the job so you're basically assisting elderly frail people or sometimes you know young people with mental illness assisting them with their activities of daily living their feeding with their mobility you know with their elimination cleaning them when they soil themselves you know just assisting them personal hygiene and all that so basically that's what you do and it's really easy to get honestly very very easy to get you can either work permanently for a particular employer or you can work with an agency so when you're working with an agency you are actually paid higher because you don't have a particular place that you are working you can be called monday to go to london and then tuesday to go to kent you see but because of the inconvenience obviously the pay is a bit higher per hour and i know that there are some care agencies that are even paying as much as the nurses are being paid you know so it's a bit flexible and um, yeah care jobs or domiciliary or living care or whatever with all the jobs that i'm mentioning you can be taking home at least 1500 per month after tax okay so basically that personally honestly personally if i was coming to the uk in 2023 on a dependent visa i'm not gonna do any of the jobs that i've listed already or any of the jobs that i'm yet to list okay if you're a dependent visa holder you do not have any restrictions on the number of jobs you can do or on the kind of job that you can do because you're not tied to any employer if i was coming to the uk in 2023 as a dependent i would do freelancing i'm gonna learn a skill and offer that service to people and make money from websites or apps like Fiverr or Upwork or I'm going to learn how to do business and start business create a website and sell stuff in the UK if you have a dependent visa holder honestly you have a lot of opportunities and a lot of chances and if you're a dependent visa holder or you're yet to be a dependent visa holder let me recommend Skillshare for you okay so Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes on Skillshare you can learn any skill or you can upgrade any skill that you have honestly enough of working for people honestly in this day and age you should aim to uh, try to be your own boss and make your own money and that is why i love the skillshare platform so let's say you want to start a business as a dependent here in the uk and then you want to start selling stuff on etsy or you want to start selling stuff on amazon or wherever but you are clueless you don't know how to go about it skillshare is the best platform for you the last class i took was how to create an online course and become an engaging teacher and to the glory of god i just finished my online class my master class and it was amazing i'll show you some of the reviews yes and i learned it from here i did not have a clue how to create a workbook for the master class and everything my, my class was on point and obviously i've gained some few pounds through that and i did not know this i learned it on skillshare i would rather learn how to launch a merchandise on shopify or on etsy and sell products and earn money because when you're doing those things because you are your own boss if you learn how to do it well on platforms like skillshare there's no limit to the amount of money you can be earning and that is what i will recommend if yours is not to sell or to start a business you can also learn a skill like video editing like thumbnail designing like photography like cooking and offer those services to people and make loads of money if you are working for somebody there's a limit to how much you can earn you cannot go past that limit but if you're working for yourself and you're your own boss there's absolutely no limit to how much you can earn maybe in the initial stage it's going to be a bit tough because obviously it's the beginning stages but these days freelancers are killing it freelancers are cashing out money big time another reason why i would 
would you rather do a freelance job is the flexibility so let's say if you have kids okay and then your partner who's the main applicant or the main visa holder is going to work if you're a freelancer and you're working from the comforts of your home let's say through um, skillshare you've been able to learn how to sell on etsy you are working from the comforts of your home so you can have more time for the kids and your partner can do more shit because you are basically always in the house so it makes sense in this day and age for the flexibility flexibility more money you know to be a freelancer instead of going through all these things so maybe you're watching me you want to try out skillshare you want to learn how to launch a merchandise and sell it online in the uk or wherever you are wherever you are the amazing thing is skillshare is giving the first 1000 people to use the link in the description to get one month free access of skillshare one month free access so you can learn the same course that i did or any other course on the platform that you like so many so many courses so use the link in the description to get your one month free access to skillshare okay thank you so much skillshare for sponsoring today's video so the third job that is very easy to get that you don't need any qualifications for is security being a security you can be a security for an office building or a store or those jobs are really really common and your job basically will be monitoring the surveillance cameras you know looking around making sure everything is okay reporting any suspicious behaviors assisting visitors you inspecting and patrolling the premises regularly and all that to see that everything is safe and secure Secured, making sure that all the exits and the doors are secured basically you know just all these security things it's easy to get it's very very easy to get and basically i think the downside of this is it can be very boring because it's like you're around the same place and it can be very very boring but it's a good job and they're actually making a lot of money okay so it's one of the high paid easy to get jobs on the list okay so you can think about that as well so the fourth job i'll mention is a sales assistant we have all these big stores in the uk the tesco's the littles in almost every corner the asdas you get a store there so what you'll be doing is you'll be obviously it's like serving customers and dealing with their inquiries arranging some of the products on the shelves if they are you know getting finished making sure that the store is clean handling product returns and refunds and payments and all those things those jobs are also very easy to get and all these jobs that i'm mentioning they are sort of like flexible you can choose whether you want to work during the day or in the afternoon or in the evening for most of them some of them you can even work in the night especially like the warehouse operators the care assistant jobs you can actually work in the night so basically that's what the sales assistant does okay so job number five is a receptionist or sort of like a secretary okay so you can work in a company as a receptionist or a secretary so you be at the front desk and then you help people who are let's say don't know where to go in the building answer and forward calls let's say somebody calls and they want to talk to somebody in a particular office in the building you have to connect the call maybe receive email and send emails and phone calls and all those secretary stuff you understand this job i believe if you have prior experience it'll be very very helpful yeah and this is also very very popular amongst the foreign community in the uk so the sixth job that i'll talk about is a delivery guy or a post guy okay a friend's friend just recently moved to belfast and that was the first job he got i think he got the job like i think is it the second week that he came like it was it was like ready for him so what he does is he works for royal mail okay one of the very popular postage systems or organizations in the uk they give him the let's say in a particular area and he's supposed to deliver let's say letters so he was not really driving he was working and delivering the the light packages like the cards and the letters through people's doors so he sees the address and he finds the building and he pushes it through the door it can be tiring because you're walking and sometimes it's regardless of the weather if it's sunny if it's snowy so i believe it can be tiring but if you have a license to drive and then you can get a car maybe you can also get the the type of delivery where you use a car to deliver you know and it can be food delivery or it can be postage delivery or parcel delivery or wherever but if you're a foreigner and you don't have a license to drive those big cars i doubt you'll be able to get those big delivery vans to drive yes but maybe the normal delivery or postage deliveries you can't you can't get those ones okay and then the last one on the list is domestic okay so with domestic you can work as a cleaner in a, any facility so it can be a hospital it can be a care home it can be any office environment it's easy to get obviously you don't need qualification you don't even need experience to be this um, so you 
you can work as a cleaner, you can work as a laundry. And bear in mind, these jobs, eh, maybe back home, you are not respected for doing this. But here, most of the jobs, you are going to be paid the same because there's something called minimum wage where nobody's going to be paid lower than that minimum wage based on the age, okay? So currently for the UK, I will leave the current minimum wage on the screen so you can see. So you are bringing home good money to take care of your family, okay? So it's not like back home where you be you'd be looked down upon for being a cleaner it's not really like that here honestly you see a cleaner driving a very big car do you die you think you have a good job you don't even have that car so basically that's what i would say is that see these jobs as you know jobs that you're doing just for the time being okay as temporal jobs okay what i would say is try to know about your profession and what you can do in your profession to get your profession's job in the uk in another video i'll tell you some of the tips and all the secrets and the things that you can do to get a well-paying job or well-paying professional job in the uk even if you're a foreigner okay so if this is something that you'd want to know about and um, let me know in the comment section if you're a healthcare professional or if your job is on a short occupation list or your profession is on a short occupation list you don't necessarily have to do these jobs you can actually start working towards your job so let's say you are coming as a dependent but back home you were a doctor you don't necessarily have to start as a cleaner okay you can decide to stay home and then prepare for the plab one or the plab two and the IELTS these are the exams that you need to right before you can practice as a doctor in the uk if you were trained internationally so you can start working towards your registration to become a doctor here if you're a nurse obviously there's a process for nurses as well if you're an it whatever there's a process for them as well if you're a pharmacist there's a process so there are some particular jobs that if you were doing those ones back home it's easy to get like those professional those same jobs in the uk you just have to know the path that you have to follow and then the exams that you have to write to register and start working that same job in the uk but for other people whose jobs or professions might not necessarily be on the social occupation list um these are the kind of things that you'd have to start with for the time being okay and trust that as you're going and you're doing these jobs you're also pushing and working towards getting the job of your dreams okay so basically that's that i hope you did get something from it if you did give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching bye